Hey guys, today I am going to talk about MetaZoo Native. Let me just read you some of these titles Meta from Alpha Investments, of course. MetaZoo Native single card prices are insane. Meta Na MetaZoo Native is going to shock the market. MetaZoo Native is a home run success. My first native meta box opening. Wow. Unbelievable. Native holds 100 plus in a bear market. We're going to look at this video from a month ago. Native has collapsed since that time, which was only a month ago from that video. Uh, the hunt for the native dual lands and uh, vice versa. So what has happened to native since that video was made a month ago suggesting that native is a hundred dollars a box uh it has plummeted actually in price uh it is right now on sale for 80 79.99 with 6.99 shipping uh it, the market price is down on with free shipping it's around 85 dollars and it is the first edition. I'm starting to believe there is no such thing as non-first edition on these sets. Uh, and then what would be the point? I'm not sure what the point would be if everything is first edition. But hey, that's just me, right? Um, that's just me. So Native, this amazing set, this set that, um, you know, this set that Rudy Chan was promoting and said was going to the moon. Let's, let's look at it from the perspective of where it is today. It's not doing very well. And to be quite frank with you, this should not be any... It shouldn't be a secret, right? I mean, Native um, is just crazy, in my opinion. It is just crazy, in my opinion. And I don't think it is going to do any better. Uh, I think it is going to do very, very poorly. And the reason being is, look, look at it. I mean, it. why would any of these boxes go up in price? These boxes are continuing to go down in price. And there's no way to, there's no way, there's no more free tendies, if you will. The MSRP, this is not. And I don't really know what will happen for the future of this set, but I do know that all the other sets have declined in money, and this one will be the same. So we're going to take a look at a few different sets of MetaZoo and kind of explain just the cheap. You can see Native is at $80 a box now, market price $91, not the $100 a box that Alpha Investments uh, claimed it was $100 plus dollars a box and it holding strong. Liquidity, eventually, people need to sell. They cannot hold on forever. Uh, again, this is a issue with a lot of Rudy's videos is he never mentions liquidity. He never mentions how the hell are you supposed to sell this stuff. Right? No one knows. Like, especially Rudy Chan. He doesn't know. I mean, these boxes are what? Cryptid Nation second edition is thirty one eighty market price twenty seven dollars a box. Wilderness first edition twenty six dollars market price twenty six seventy one. And supposedly the one box over a hundred dollars is no longer anywhere close to that. You got UFO at twenty six dollars a box. You got Valentine's holiday box twenty twenty two. <laughs> you know, I, th this stuff is crazy in my opinion. Like for him to continue to pump this is just an in insanity. I really don't know uh, what else to say except this is insane. Um, the price again of this native box is now seventy nine ninety nine, and there are eBay listings for much less than this, and it's because people are willing to drop the price. The $100 price isn't going to hold if there are no sales. If no one's buying it, eventually one of these sellers will be like, nah, man, I, I need money right now. I can't hold on forever. And, you know, I'm, I'm in the business of selling cards. I'm not in the business of holding cards. These are, of course, local game stores and whatnot. Um, many of this stuff can be really... Um, it comes down to a very simple principle. It's liquidity. Um, you can pretend a card is whatever price you want to pretend it is, but eventually somebody will make a move to sell it. 
somebody will say, you know what, I, I'm done. I'm sick and tired of playing these games. I am ready to sell it. Now, what are you going to sell it to me for? Like, what can I, what can I get for it? Okay, let me list it at 80. Well, anyone buy for 79.99, which means after fees, um, they're probably, probably losing. Um, I imagine they're buying for 70. They'll probably break even on this box. But then you look at the boxes that are selling for 26, 30 dollars. MetaZoo, if you had made an investment in MetaZoo, you have lost a lot of money. Um, uh, and the Rudy promos are not doing it. Again, it's liquidity. My God, no one will ever, ever uh, mention this. And I think it's it's kind of strange that there is not a single person who will mention liquidity as if it is like a bad thing, right? Uh, as if it is something that you want to avoid and you want to pretend doesn't exist but my god it exists right uh, how easy it is to sell how much the volume is you would think somebody on wall street would really be concerned about those things uh, mainly because um there are things that everyone should be concerned with if you make an investment you don't make money until you sell it and the situation here is quite devastating. It is a very, um, it's kind of, a, I mean, I look at this and I say to myself, like, how can this be happening where MetaZoo continues to get slaughtered, but he continues to promote it? I don't really get it. Um, I'm really baffled at, like, the people still buying this thing. Your boxes are at $26, $31, $30. Native, this set that's supposed to be $100 over a box, if you are trying to sell it at $70, $80, you're basically break even at the $70 distributor price, which I assume most of these cards are at. You know, there's liquidity and there, there's MetaZoo. MetaZoo is on another planet in terms of, um, you know, it's on another planet. I, I don't really get how people are still investing in this. Your boxes are literally like under $30 a box that you paid. Imagine you're a game store, man. You pay $70 a box for this shit, and then all your boxes are under under $50 a box, and no one wants it. And then the only box over 100 the Alpha Investment says isn't really over 100 anymore. It's at 80 And I'm looking at eBay right now. They're dropping like flies, man. They're, soon there won't be any MetaZoo. Who, who's going to buy this? Why would you buy something like this and just lose that much money? I mean, I've never seen a card game just crash to this point. And this is a living card game, mind you. This is a living card game. Like Dead card games don't even... Dead card games sometimes go up in price, my guys. Um, it is weird and a little obnoxious. And it's just really strange that... Um, that this is an investment opportunity when every single box, there is almost no box. Maybe their first box, first edition encrypted, if you count that. I don't know how that was sold. Was that sold to the public? Did they sell it for $500 a box? Uh, who really knows? But, I mean, I guess some people MetaZoo know. But I imagine there's not that many more fans of MetaZoo. And people are selling, selling, selling. You can go on the eBay and they just want to get rid of this shit. It's really that simple.